Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can allow Bedrock clients to join your Minecraft Java server using Geyser MC. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got a Java server ready. I've got my server over here. I'm currently running my one block setup on this server, but you don't need any of my server setups to do this. You can do this on any server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to geysermc.org and click download in the corner. You're then going to want to download Geyser here and also download Floodgate. So once you've downloaded both jar files, you're going to want to come back over to your server, go to your files and then go to the plugins folder. And then you're going to want to upload both of these jar files into your plugins folder. And then once they've uploaded, go to your console and restart your server. So while your server's restarting, just have a look at your port and make sure you keep a note of this because you're going to need it in the configuration. So once your server's restarted, you can go to your files and then to the plugins folder. And you should be able to see Geyser Spigot and Floodgate folders have appeared. You're going to want to open Geyser Spigot and go into config.yml. So once you're in this file, you're going to want to change the bedrock port to the port of your server. So in my case, it's 25565, but yours might be slightly different. You're also going to want to come down to remote and change this port here to whatever yours is. In my case, it's 25565. You want to change the address to 127.0.0.1 and then change your auth type to floodgate. And this will allow Bedrock players to join without using a Java account. Some other things you might want to change is the MOTD. This is what will show up on Bedrock clients and also the server name. This will be visible in the pause menu and the settings menu as it says here. And then you're just gonna to want to save this file, go back to your console and restart your server. So I'm just gonna confirm we can still join the server on a Java account. So if I put our IP and port in there, you'll see I can join perfectly fine and I should join in just at the spawn area. There you go. So I'll just go to the spawn area so that I can meet my Bedrock account when we join. So I'm now on Minecraft Bedrock. So if I go down to servers and scroll down to add a server at the bottom, then I can put my IP address in here. And then I'll have to remove the port and put that in this separate area. So 25565, you can name this whatever you want. I'll just call it server and then click save and you'll see it loads our MOTD. And then if I click join server, then you see after a bit of loading, we should be able to load in. So there we go, it's got the pop-up and you'll see my main account here. And now I'm playing this server on Bedrock Edition. So going back to my Java account, you can see my Bedrock account here. So that's how you can add Geyser to your Minecraft server. It's really very simple. I'll also link the Geyser support discord in the description. If you have any trouble, you can go over to them and get some help. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.